So at five, an Oklahoma City councilman turning himself into authorities. John Pettis, councilman for Ward 7, was booked on three counts of embezzlement plus a tax charge. Police say he hasn't filed his taxes for nine years. News 4's Lili Zhang is in studio with more on this. And you looked into how often this really happens. Right, Lance. I spoke with the Oklahoma Accountancy Board, and their executive director was a lead witness in Oklahoma's first criminal case on a failure to file income taxes back in the 1990s. He says while nine years is a long time, it's not unheard of. is part of what we call the underground economy in the United States. Randy Ross is referring to people who don't file their taxes, working under the radar, as he says. The executive director of the Oklahoma Accountancy Board says it's not totally rare for people who are self-employed. Self-employed individuals uh, many times just receive smaller amounts of checks or cash, and that those persons paying them don't issue any type of uh, documentation to the government telling them, oh, I paid so-and-so for this service. Mr. Pettis, do you have a comment? The accusation of not filing taxes for nine years surrounds Oklahoma City Councilman John Pettis. He turned himself in on Tuesday while also facing charges of embezzlement. Why did you take that money, sir? Prosecutors allege Pettis embezzled thousands through charitable organizations that were either started or controlled by him, claiming he took that money for personal use. After a court hearing on Tuesday, we tried again to get his side of the story through text and calling. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Goodbye. Chrissy Yeager, spokesperson for the city of Oklahoma City, says Pettis has not resigned from his position as councilman for Ward 7, remaining an active member, though the city council can remove members. The city charter does talk about misconduct by a council person, and so we need to go back and look at that charter and see if anything applies in this situation. Now, Yeager, who you just heard from, says that they will have to deal with this circumstance day to day. Pettis is due back in court next month. Lily, thanks for following it. More details.